If you're seeing this, your Minecraft is broken. But don't worry, I'm giving you the ultimate fix checklist to save your game. And we're doing it faster than a creeper can blow up your house. So let's fix Minecraft. First thing, update Minecraft. If you're playing some ancient version from 1995, update. Make sure your packs match your Minecraft version. You see your Minecraft version right down here, left hand side. And next, update your resource pack. Easy to see out of date packs. If they're in red, they're probably out of date. And go and re-download the pack to the latest version. If the creator of the pack doesn't have a new version, then find a different pack. And also update your mods. If you're playing a mod like Optifine, Forge, Fabric, if they're outdated, your game is toast. Make sure you update mods just like you update everything else. Now, if you're playing an older version of Minecraft, maybe on a server or something, then just make sure that your mods and your resource packs match that version of Minecraft. This is especially true of Optifine, Forge, Fabric, Sodium. If you're running those mods, make sure they match your version of Minecraft. One wrong move and boom, error city. Is your pack name showing in red like this? That's a bad sign. Check the pack format number in the pack MC meta file. It has to match your game version. I have a video all about doing that. I'll put a link for that in the description. Next, test your packs one by one. Add one pack in, choose done, test the pack, make sure it works. Let's see what happens here. I'll choose done. This one changes my menu screen. So make sure your pack works. Go back to options, back to resource packs, take that pack out, put your next pack in. Here's the high contrast pack and test that pack. If you spot a pack that doesn't work, then delete that pack. Once you found a pack that's broken, broken textures, missing sounds, bad files, Minecraft hates those. Make sure you fix your pack so it's all working correctly. Also watch out for extra folders. A lot of times downloaded packs will give you an extra folder. Let me show you that. Here's a pack that has an extra folder. It's easy to check. We see .zip, just open the pack up. I'll just double click on this, open it up. And if you see a folder like that, then you have one folder too many. Easy to do if you're not being careful. Here's a folder that that was from. If you zip this up, you're gonna get one too many folders. If you go inside of this, you'll see the inside stuff. That's what has to be zipped up. Not the folder that it's in, but what's inside the folder. It should say assets, pack MC meta and pack PNG. Sometimes you may have some more stuff in here, but that's what has to get zipped, not the folder. And sometimes downloaded packs have that extra folder in them. So double check the zip, open it up. If you see an extra folder, that's the problem. Go into the folder and zip up the contents. Next, free up some memory. Is your PC slower than a turtle? Close other programs. Minecraft needs RAM to breathe. It needs a lot of RAM. So close anything else and run just Minecraft. That can easily fix a lot of problems. Also, speaking of memory, watch out for high res packs. Fancy packs with 512 by 512 textures and larger, you know, the photorealistic stuff. That just eats your memory alive. If you're crashing, downsize your pack to a lower level. Sometimes packs give you a choice of what level you're playing at. Same thing for mods. Some mods allow you to play at different levels. Just go to a lower resolution level and see if that fixes the problem. If you've gotten this far and you still haven't fixed it, try updating Java. If your Java is older than your grandma's toaster, update it. New Java equals happy Minecraft. And you can get that right here. I'll put this link in the description. Just download it, update your Java, and that can fix problems. If you're still having problems, read the log. This is an advanced trick, so this takes some knowledge. You can look at the log file and see if you spot any errors. Let me show you that. Open a file window like this, type in percent, app data percent, hit the enter key, go into Minecraft right there and look for logs. It's right here. Open this up, ignore all this stuff. These are old logs, backed up logs. Come down where it says latest log, open that up. You get a whole lot of code in here. Go ahead and search for errors. Now I see this thing all the time, missing sound events for, I'm always seeing those things pop up. I'm not gonna worry about those things. But you're looking for errors in here. Just do a search for error and see what you find. I'm not seeing anything. My Minecraft is running just fine. And most of these sound errors, it's gonna find those again and it would be just fine. That might just be, it didn't read it quite right the first time it loaded. In most cases, ignore everything in here. But if you find one that says error, take a look at that and see if that might be the problem. It may be a temporary error. It may have gone away or it could be a permanent error with one of your packs. And as a last resort, try reinstalling Minecraft, but back up your worlds first. Go back to the menu screen, go into single player, choose your world. You may want to back up everything, but choose one world at a time. Come down to edit and right here, make backup. 
There you go. Once you have them backed up, you can then reinstall Minecraft and bring your worlds back in again. And you'll find your backed up worlds inside the backups folder right there. You might also want to try to optimize the world that sometimes will fix little problems or glitches. And congratulations, you just went through the ultimate Minecraft survival challenge and won. And you got your Minecraft working again. Smash that like button if this saved you and subscribe for more Minecraft tips.